Hi everyone, it's Miss Kate. And Miss Hazel. Hey, today we're going to do another fun paper mache project. We made, we're calling them bottle cats because they were made with a bottle. But here's our cat, already finished and painted. And um, they're just so funny. I love these. So, I'm going to show you how we did it. We started with a bottle. I took a piece of foil. Let me show you what we did with the foil. I didn't do it very well. Took a piece, two pieces of foil, but if you have regular foil, you could probably just use one. I made a ball like this, and then I put the other piece over it, kind of to shape a head, like a kitty head. Oh. And then I just put it right here into the neck of the bottle. And then I want to make it a little bit bigger. And then I taped it on just to make sure that it doesn't go anywhere when we're using the paper mache oh, yes. product. We do love tape. I know, tape is fun. We just said glue and tape and cardboard are our friends. And then to make a tail, I'm gonna tell you I tried one way, it didn't really work very well. So I'm gonna glue, I'm gonna tape, sorry, my tail. So I took a piece of newspaper, twisted it up. I'm gonna use some more tape. I'll show you on the back side. This is gonna be the back of the, of the cat. I'm going to tape it there, and I could leave it out, but what I'm going to do is have it curl around as if the cat had a curled tail. So and it will be a bump where the tail is. Exactly. When you paint it. Then it'll, you'll see it. And then I wanted ears for my cat, so I took this as a cereal box because this thin cardboard is super easy to cut and maneuver, use. It's all good. So, I'm going to cut out two triangles for ears, and then I'm going to tape those to the head. So I'm going to take some more tape and decide where I want my ears. Oops, these ears might be a little bit large for this cat, so I'm going to make them a little bit smaller. There we go. I like to fold mine a little bit to make it easier to put the tape on. That's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to Tape one ear there, and then I'll tape one ear on the other side. Again, that's probably still too big, so I'm going to make it smaller. Fold it a little bit, take a piece of tape. And today we're using um, paper mache that we've made with flour and water. We don't oh. have to cook it, we're just going to make it. And it's this really easy recipe. It's called a two to one. So it's two parts water to one part flour. So it doesn't matter what size you're making. We did, this is actually a lot, this is, but normally you would just need about a cup of flour and two cups of water mixed really well together. Maybe with a whisk if you have a whisk, it makes it faster. Or a fork. I see you used a fork. A fork. Yeah, I used a fork just now. When I first made I used a whisk. But you could use um, a fork and there's your Here's the base of the whole thing. Next, we're going to use that mixture I just told you about. And you can, if you don't use it all, you can put the lid on. That's what I did last week. I put the lid on, I put it in the refrigerator, and then I just stirred it up again when I was ready. So I'm taking some old newspaper, thanks to my brother Tom, and we're going to put this in to this mixture. Oh, wait. Hold on, hold everything. Oh, and I, also I remembered see you protected your work surface. Oh, too. I did because this is a giant mess. It's a fun mess, and today I'm wearing gloves because I have something else to do later. And it's, I'm going to make a mess. Normally, I don't mind my hands getting so messy, but today I'm going to try not to be quite as messy as I usually am. Fun. Okay. So here we go. La last, the last couple messy videos that Miss Kate made, the gloves sat next to her. She was ready, but she forgot to wear them. So she's yes. very excited she remembered her gloves today. I almost forgot again today, though. So now I just, do you see what I did? I put the newspaper in, and then I used my fingers to sort of pull off most of the excess. And then I'm just going to put this newspaper with the flour water mix on it right on top of the bottle and I'm going to smooth it down. And I'm going to keep going like this. I'll probably end up putting on three full layers of this. Sometimes people want to put on more, which you can. Depends on how much you enjoy this. But I'm going to say at least three for this one would be good. To really to make it super strong. Because remember, this is a bottle. If you drop it, you might be a little sad. Because it and would be broken. And you want to cover all the 
everything from head to toe from head to toe yeah so if you can see this is the one that's already done and it's um it's dry because i just got it wet with my hands but it's got the the tail here so when i paint it i'll be able to add on a tail like that paint it that way it's all all the way dry but now i have to let it dry a little bit more show us the very and bottom, i can Miss Kate, oh yes you bottle. can see where the bottle is at the bottom see that's still there i'm never going to take it out it's going to live in there forever and that way it can really stand up on your shelf like i'm going to put this cute kitty somewhere up here on our shelves where it will live for the rest of i don't know eternity so <laughs> when i come um later when i come back i'm going to paint this one add a face and it could look it could look like a real cat it could look like a not real cat because there aren't so many cats have diamonds all over them but i like those colors so i use them also if you want to learn more about doing paper mache you can look at our video which is um linked down to the bottom of this one we'll show you how to use glue and water and more about me mixing this mix to get ready for the paper mache okay yeah, yeah. okay well thanks everyone for coming to visit us we love having you here. And um, remember, if you like this video, you can um, subscribe to us on this channel. You can also follow us on Instagram at Alameda Arts Fun. And or look at all of our work on um, our website at alamedaarts.com. Anything else, Miss Hazel? No, just have fun making art. Okay, show us your pictures. You can send pictures to us, too. Okay, that'd be great. All right, thanks, everyone. See you next time. Bye, friends. Bye. Bye.